Hi, this is Justin Lucasavage for the Free Agent Academy. We're using a new solution here to be uh, teaching our classes. It's called Meeting Burner. Now you'll have a link to join every single meeting. We'll be posting these in the classes on the member site at freeagentacademy.com. And when you click on it, you're gonna get something like this. Register for the free agent meeting. You can do this ahead of time and you'll get some email reminders uh, before the class starts as well. So what we're gonna do is um, this says register for free agent meeting. Now this is actually started. Actually, I typed this in so before it happened. Okay, so you're gonna get the same thing. It's just after 10 o'clock right now. And so I'm gonna join this. Uh, you're just gonna register with your um, with your email or with your uh, name. And then I'm also going to uh, type my email address in and register. This is all complete. And so here's what we get. Instructions for attending the meeting. This is actually already started. Beforehand, you could add this to Outlook or to iCal if you'd like. At the time listed above, we can click this. Now it is actually this time. So I'm gonna click it. Option one is only if, if I'm not going to be uh, here on the computer, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna call the phone and uh, put this PIN number in. And so you can listen if you're in the car, um, but I'm gonna encourage you, if you're gonna be on the computer, don't dial into the phone. You won't need it unless you have a question and then you'll have plenty of time to call in at that time. So unless you have a specific question or you're gonna be in the car, um, or even if you have a specific question, wait until uh, we open it up for Q&A, uh, unless you have something right off the, the beginning you wanna show us. Um, Option number two, you also may use your computer speakers to listen in. So here's what we're gonna do is click this, and then this is gonna take us directly into the meeting, and this is what it looks like as a participant. We see this, and uh, again, the dial in, press star one to mute. Now I'd like to encourage you, if you have a mute on your phone, to use that instead. If we need to mute or unmute everybody, it will override um, your choices here. So use the mute on your phone if you, uh, if you have one. Uh, if you don't, you can use star one to mute and unmute. Now this says to listen in, use the audio controls over here. You're not actually gonna need that. Unless for some reason, um, whoever is teaching the class is on the phone, we're all gonna be on our computers. Um, and so what I mean by on the phone you won't ever have to use this if we're doing a meeting on the computer. Uh, the professor of the course will dial in or they'll be on Skype. Um, they'll be here to talk with you. Um, and again, you can see that Justin Lucas Savage is a presenter. I'm doing this on another computer. And then here am I signed in as free agent. Now, what's gonna happen here is we're, all gonna, we're always gonna have this. If this has not enabled the webcam, then I believe you will need to listen over here. Without this, I'm gonna enable the, start the webcam over here, and what you're gonna do is you'll see me. I'm actually looking at this computer, but I'm talking over on this one. This is the volume, and this is why um, you don't enable this listen, is because if you do both of those, you're going to get an echo. So many times you won't need this listen button, so don't even worry about it. If you need to dial in though, again, here's the dial in info and you can also press Skype. And if you have Skype installed on your computer, I'll ask you if you wanna call in through Skype. So that is another easy way to do that. So most of the time you can just um, uh, minimize that. And then you'll see again, the picture up here at the top. And then this is your audio. This is kind of the master uh, audio that you can choose up and down. Now you'll see a list of participants over here. Again, I don't want to. I want to. Um, I don't want to under. Uh, I don't want to minimize what's going on over here. If you have an echo, turn this listen button off. This is selected. If you have an echo, turn it off. Okay. If you have an echo, turn that off. And then again, this is your master volume over here. You'll see the list of participants, and then you'll also see a chat. So you can see that it, uh, the chat does work and it comes up right over here. If you have a specific question, you can pop this up over here, up in the upper left-hand corner. And then when you do that, enter your question or comment for the host. Only I will be able to see that, or whoever is leading the class, they are the only person that will be able to see that for you. Okay, so that's what happens if you, um, and then we will respond publicly because we can't chat directly back to you. So if you have a question and you just wanna send that to the host, send that there. 
if the chat is really busy and you have a specific question, a lot of times people are talking back and forth with each other. Ask the host a question through here. They'll get a message on their screen and then they should be able to answer it for you. Um, this big blue section will go away if the host is sharing their screen, if there's something on there that they want you to see. And then during the meeting, if it gets uh, boring or if it gets really fun and there's something interesting going on, you can take this little slider and move it. I just slid it up to here and then it slowly works its way back to uh, the middle once you do that. Um, and that's just so you don't leave it on either hot or cold. We're gonna play with that here at the Free Agent Academy and see if that's a feature that's helpful. Otherwise, uh, it's something that we can certainly turn off if it's a distraction. That's how to use Meeting Burner. Again, the dial-in info is all right here. If you have a specific question, if not, you'll be able to turn the speaker on on your computer. If you have a question though, you can chat directly into the chat box or you can dial in, um, but let us know that you are dialing in because if we have it muted, we won't know that you are there. Uh, that's how to use Meeting Burner. If you have any questions, let us know. For the Free Agent Academy, I'm Justin Lucas-Savage.